Hello, everybody. I'm Alexey Kravrov, the organizer of SF Scala. And here we are on location at Radius for a special meetup about uh, Google protocol buffers. Uh, we had two talks today, uh, one on Scala implementation and one on proto stuff. Uh, and here with us, we have David Yu, who is the creator of the original proto stuff uh, project, which is at proto stuff IO. Uh, welcome, David. It's great to have you here. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, I wonder if this is one of the oldest projects about protocol buffers, yeah, right? Yeah. So you started it and you keep doing it. Yeah. So not often, people often start the projects and they drop them, yeah. but you keep doing this project. So can you tell us how did you start this and what is so exciting about protocol buffers so you still keep doing this after all these years? Yeah. Okay, so I started it because I found protocol buffers to have a very good design. Mm -hmm. So. It has all the features, uh, schema evolution, and compact binary size, mm -hmm. and it has implementation in lots of languages. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to get started, and you just generate the code for your client side, server side, yeah. for your data, everything. Mm -hmm. So um, for me, when I try, when I created Protosoft, um, I was using it internally for my projects. Mm -hmm. So. Um, along the way, um, there were many feature requests from the from the users, so I tried to improve. So one uh, one of the one of the modules that are uh, feedback based is the Protosoft runtime. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't planning on adding that because how I use Protosoft is purely on code generation. Mm -hmm. So Protosoft runtime and also the Protosoft graph. Mm -hmm. So. Some users use it, they also use it on Android. Mm -hmm. So I've gotten feedback that it works there. Before I had a phone, so I was happy about it. So I, continu I continued to fix bugs because there were already uh, some users on the those plus uh, runtime and graph. Mm -hmm. And for me, it were the core projects. Um, uh, over time, I, I, need, I need another feature that uh, I want, like the pipe, it came later. So. Mm -hmm. I continued adding that and maintaining that. So that's basically, I'm creating Protostuff and maintaining it because I use it internally in my project. Okay, got it. Uh, and so uh, it's very interesting. So you're from the Philippines, which city? Cebu City, yeah. So I uh, didn't know much about it. I went to Wikipedia, I think, and I found it's a port. It's a poor city. It's a big city, right? And so uh, you're the first speaker from the Philippines at SF Scala, and uh, a lot of people doing, you know, portal buffs are in big data, and they're all in the Bay Area. I'm sure probably some companies try to hire you from the Bay Area, but uh, you are still in the Philippines. So can you tell us, uh, you know, did you ever like feel the pool of the Bay Area, all the startups, you know, when you come here? Did you ever want to move here? What is the uh, startup scene in the Philippines like? And kind of how does this work? You know, so you're there and we're here, we, we work on the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, um, my father has a uh, big business there, food mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. and. Um, instead of, yeah, I could have applied here, mm -hmm. but I wanted to help our business also, so I wanted to make sure that um, I use Protostuff and I improve our business through automation, uh, our inventory, mm -hmm. our sales. Mm -hmm. So it's most, uh, mostly the beneficiary of Protostuff goes directly to my father's company. Oh, got it. Okay, cool. So, so they are helping the business, the business and yeah. the local economy. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is great. This is awesome. This, yeah. is, this is great. Uh, cool. And so, uh, and I noticed, uh, so I found about Proto stuff through some big data people, mm -hmm. right? And so you obviously kind of, it's used in many, uh, in, you know, some of these projects. So I'm just wondering, kind of, uh, is this something why you keep working on this? Like you have users in different projects who, right, who, who, who apply. Is it another thing like you, you because you, you help them? Fix bugs, and, yeah, yeah. right? Hmm. So, what was the question? Uh, the question is like, is this some motivation also for you, the users who keep you know finding proto stuff and using the different projects? Yeah, yeah. So for for the users that use it in a in big data, mm -hmm. so I use they usually message me directly, and some do it on the issues. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I find a bug. On the that's critical. I always try to fix it immediately because mm -hmm. I don't want uh, because yeah, it direct is also impacts me because I'm using it in production in our 
inventory system. Yes. So, so it's uh, it's basically the core stuff, everything there that has bugs directly impacts me. So that that's what that's one of the reasons why I try to maintain it as fast uh, as um, often mm -hmm. and fix the bugs as early as I can. Okay. And I know you were attending a GWT uh, yeah. a conference here. Can you tell us a little bit? And you mentioned also that your uh, proto stuff is interacting with the browser. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about how that uh, part works? Yeah. So, Protosoft as a the public project uh, is more on serialization and code generation. Yes. That's just and also a few templates for the uh, Java Java Bean templates and GWT overlays. Mm -hmm. So, in my internal project, it's probably bigger than the Protosoft project. Uh, uh, I have also have internal libraries, and most of them are for everything. So. When I uh, uh, I notice in my uh, if you notice in, my, in in the bio I, I said I prefer a lean stack. Yeah. So basically my stack is nginx and the JVM and level DB. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And there's no frameworks. Uh, Protostuff is the framework that connects it all. Okay. So I have uh, in Protostuff in my internal library I have a data layer. Mm -hmm. So I declaratively I use the proto format to declaratively index the fields and I store it and also uh, to store the into the database I have a so basically in the server side I have a database object from Protostuff mm -hmm. and then an RPC layer mm -hmm. still managed by Protostuff and then a client side layer using GWT mm -hmm. and another uh, JS JavaScript library uh, named Vue v -U -E. mm -hmm. so I integrate View and GWT, and I communicate. Uh, uh, the library uh, communicates directly in the server using the proto stuff protocol. Okay. Okay. So it's basically my in my own framework that I did not publish yet. And uh, so, but this closure you showed nginx closure. Uh, is it just for nginx, or are you using any closure in your stack? No, no, no. I don't use closure. Um, I just notice that his implementation was fast so i was wondering what made it fast ah, so okay so i tr because i'm uh, i usually over optimize and uh, and especially in the jni side mm -hmm. i try to make it as fast as possible mm -hmm. and do bulk processes because of the overhead so i uh, i noticed that he was using jni in a different way so when i found out that about his hacks then i mm -hmm. applied it also Oh, cool. Got it. Well, that was, I think, a really great project and, you know, very great insights. I think, you know, people learned a lot. So thank you very much, David. And You're we're welcome. always happy to have you here and talk about your, your, your stack and your technology. Yeah, thank you. Thank Thanks. you for having me.